kick first because Edwards, he has planted himself in the goal and Dalrymple is walking off to the side. And let's see, the first kicker looks to be Kroll. Now, he, he had a, a very interesting game, James. He, he was the defensive midfielder and uh, you looked at him. Uh, he did his, he was very efficient in the game without being spectacular. He did what he had to do. And now they're calling on him to score a penalty. So here's Kroll against Edwards. Let's see as Kroll, he puts it away. That's a good penalty. Oh, what a cool finish from the 16-year-old Kroll, Dexter Kroll. Sent Edwards the wrong direction and did the job early for Trinity East. That's exactly what they needed. And what a start from him and Trinity East. Now it appears that Jaden Williams, now he kicked a penalty in the, in the, in the game. He scored the penalty for Fatima. He went to the right. Dalrymple dived to his left. That's the question now. Is he going to go to the right again? Or is he going to change direction? And is Dalrymple going to read it? Let's have a look. Jaden Williams against Brandon Dalrymple. Here is Williams. He's banged it. He's gone in the same way. But this time he banged it. And uh, Dalrymple couldn't hold on. He dived the correct way. He may have just got a glove on it, James, but it was powerfully struck. Yeah, how do you stop a rocket? Well, with a missile defense or nothing. Didn't have a missile defense, so it ended up in the back of the net. That was hit with a lot of power by Williams. Goalkeeper guessed correctly, but just couldn't stop it. Yep. It was too hot to handle, and that has put the game back level. Well, it looks like, is this Figaro? It could very well be Figaro. So, Figaro to make it 2-1. Yes, that's a very good penalty. What a good penalty. Right up in the corner of the net. And Edwards, well, he had to be the Spider-Man to get there. What a good penalty, James. Yeah, that's a top-notch penalty, quite literally. Top pocket, only spiders and cobwebs up there. And you can add that letter ball as well because that's exactly where it ended up from Joshua Figaro. Well, this seems to be Noons. It is Noons. It looks like Noons coming up. And yes, it is Noons. So 2 1 now for Trinity College East. Here is Noons to level it at 2 all. Well, the keeper, again, he went the right way, but couldn't hold on to it. Another one hit with some power. So it's now 2-all. Nunes has made it 2-all. He hit that with some power as well, James. Yeah, no slight pepper there. That was very, very hot to handle. Goalkeeper guessed right yet again, but Just too much power. Yep. Couldn't keep it out for the second time, he guessed correctly. And for the second time, he couldn't keep it out. That's unlucky. James, did he try to hold, or should he have punched it? Yep. I think he tried to punch, but... it. Just too much power. Just unlucky, yeah. yeah. Well, let's see. The man coming forward. This is Prince. Now, he scored two wonderfully taken goals. Let's see how he's going to do deal with the penalty. Here's Prince. He's missed. Well, this is the man who scored two goals and two wonderful shots here. He went for it. And it went wide. Well, how wide? They asked Father Abraham. Well, that is very wide from Prince Sander. Isn't that cruel, though, James? It is cruel to yep. see a man, a 16-year-old Prince, score two goals in the match, was the hero to get them there. Just drifting wide of the mark. Big work for this guy now. Yep. Here is, uh, let's see, who is this? This is the Gans. The Gans for Fatima to make it 3-2. The referee blows. Here's the guns. He scores. Fatima now lead by three to two. Well, he must have read a lot of Anansi tales because that one was tricky as they come. 
This time sending Dalrymple the wrong direction, gave him the eyes, and sent him the other way. And that's a top-notch penalty from the Gans. And it has Fatima College, more importantly, with a lead in the penalty shootout. More pressure for this man. Certainly is. Let's see. This is Frank Williams. So, you got to think he has to score, James. He misses, and if Fatima scores the next one, they will win. So he's got to score to keep the pressure on the Fatima College kickers. Here is Frank Williams up against Edwards. It's saved! It had no power in it, and Edwards just dived to his left. He came up big. Change this corner. He meant to go to the right side and just feel that Boston should have been the man stepping up. Instead, it was Frank Williams in a crucial area. Tried to change his angle, his corner at the last moment. And that's the thing, you don't get power when you do that. The way he was lined up, yeah. he was set to go down to the keeper's right. Change his corner and a very good save. And uh, this Boston going to rule the fact that he was not the man to step up the kick. Well, Edwards. Edwards is going to kick and if he scores here that's it it'll be 4-2 for Fatima here's Edwards he bangs it in the net and that's it Fatima College are into the final the Coca-Cola National Intercall final and whoa Fatima College they are dancing but I tell you what, they know they have been in a game. And what a game we've had here. This is an absolutely fantastic game here. And uh, at the end of it, Fatima College winning on penalty kicks by 4-2. to two. Dalrymple couldn't save any. Edwards just saved one. But here, here are the fans, they are overjoyed, absolutely overjoyed by what has been happening here. But you have to, to really, you, your, your heart goes out to Trinity College East. You know, it, it's times like this when you feel sorry that you have to have a loser. But the game says that somebody has to win, somebody has to lose. But Trinity College East, they give it their all. They were one down at half time. They brought it back in the early in the second half to 2 1. And then, they, unfortunately, uh, they had a penalty called against them, a correct decision, because it was a handleball from Providence. And, and uh, you, that, that was the situation a 2 all uh, a draw. So let's 